Hey everyone, welcome to 38 Basics of JavaScript video in which we're gonna discuss about index of and find and basically stuff like that for arrays. So we have to look how we can map over an array, filter values out of it, just loop over with for each and use reduce for reducing an array to a single value. But sometimes you have to see if a value exists in an array or not. So let's see if we have an array of my favorite foods. And uh, we just put in random stuff in here. Let's say pasta, and the list would go on. But anyway, so let's say you want to determine whether you do have a favorite food or not in there. So, what you're gonna do is just run my favorite foods dot index off, and then the thing which you want to check, right? So, let's just say pizza. So now, if you run this, you get a zero. Now, what does that mean? Well, index of method actually returns you the index of the element passed, right? So in this case, you have you can see that pizza is at zeroth index, burgers is at first index, so you will get one, right? And so on and so forth. Now, with the ES um, six, what you have is uh, first of all, let me just tell you that if you just include an element which does not really exist you're going to get a negative one right so what you have to do is to match is just do a check of this so you see we get false that means this element does not exist and we get true that means this element does exist right so es6 what it did is instead of like providing this thing now we can do just simple includes which would automatically return us a boolean value let's say i do a burgers here so you can see that we get a true value here because it did exist and anything which does not exist you see we get false right now on a similar basis what you can do is you can say my favorite foods dot find and actually this is useful in cases when you have objects as the values of array right so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to say students is an array which consists of objects having name as let's just say abc age as 15 right then we have another student with name as def age as 16 so on and so forth right so now what we want to do is basically we want to get a student we want to find the student students dot find and it's all english right so you want to find a student and you can say s is the temporary student variable where you want to find which student whose age is equal to 15 right it's safe this console log that particular student and you're going to see that we get that particular student whose age is 15 right so this find method is usually useful when you have objects inside a race but you can use it anyway with any data kind right so whatever value you return, the find would return the first index. Now, even if it were 15, then you would still get ABC because find exits on the first match, right? Otherwise, you're gonna have any parameter, right? Name is DEF, then you will get, you know, that, that particular record. And if you execute something which does not exist, it will return you undefined, right? Simple enough. So that's all for this video, and I'll see you then in the next one.